Let's look at the Newton's, or Newton-Raphson's method, with intro and an example, question. Consider a function f of x. We want to solve it for the value of x where f of x is 0. This point is shown by the red circle. Let's choose a point on the curve, say f of x n and draw a tangent line at that point. This tangent line crosses x-axis at a certain x-value, let's call it xn plus 1. Remember, the slope of the tangent line to the function is equal to its first derivative, at a given point. Focusing on this blue triangle, we can write an equation for the slope of the tangent line. So the derivative of the function at f of xn, can be written in this form. Now let's rearrange this equation, for the value of xn plus 1. Now we can use this equation, to find the value of x, where the tangent line crosses the x-axis. Once we find this value, move the tangent line to the point on the curve corresponding to this new x position. Now we can repeat the same process again, to find the new x-position where this tangent line crosses the x-axis. A few repetitions of this process, can take us closer to the solution value, in couple of steps. This equation is known as the iterative equation for the Newton's method. Now let's consider an example question. Use newton raphson iterative method, to find the square root of 2. First of all, we need to write the given problem in the form of f of x equals 0. For this, let's say x equals square root of 2. Now rearrange this to obtain an equation, in the form, f of x equals 0. So we found our function, f of x as shown. Now let's write down the first derivative of f. Now plug these into the iterative equation, for the Newton's method, as shown. Finally, here is our iterative equation for the given problem, that can be used to find the value of x using the Newton's method. For the first step that is n equals 0, let's assume that x0 is equal to 1. Using this value into the equation, we can find the value of x1, as shown. Now for n equals 1, a repetition of the same process will give us a value for x2, as shown. Now let's do one more step, and find the value for x3. We see that just over three steps, our x value is quite closer to the desired answer for the square root of 2. Let's look at these iterations, graphically. So we assumed our initial guess for x0, and found the value of x1 where the tangent line crossed x-axis. Then we repeated this process with x1 as a starting point, and found x2. And another repetition gave us x3. Let's perform one more iteration. This will give a value for x4, which is far more accurate.
Here is a summarized perspective of this iterative process. Note, like other iterative methods, Newton's method may not converge, or may converge to one root but not the other. In addition when the derivative at the iteration point is zero, this method stalls.